The recorded history of Karnataka goes back more than two millennia. Several great empires and dynasties have ruled over Karnataka and have contributed greatly to the history, culture and development of Karnataka. The impact of kingdoms of Karnataka origin have been felt over other parts of India also. The Chandaka Nagas of Central India, Gangas of Kalinga Odisha, Rashtrakutas of Manyaheta, Shalukas of Vangi, Yadava dynasty of Devagiri were all of Kannada origin who later took to encouraging local languages. Prehistory The credit for doing early extensive study of prehistoric Karnataka goes to Robert Bruce Foote and this work was later continued by many other scholars. The prehistoric culture of Karnataka and South India in general is called the hand axe culture, as opposed to the Sohan culture of North India. Paleolithic hand axes and cleavers in the shape of pebbles made with quartz and quartzite which have been found in places such as Lingadahalli in Chikamagaluru district and Hunasagi in Yadgar district, and a wooden spike at Kabanahalli in Tumkur district are examples of old Stone Age implements. There are reports that a polished stone axe was discovered at Lingashugar in the Raichur district Neolithic sites New Stone Age of importance are Maski in Raichur district, Brahmagiri in Chitradurga district etc., with abundance of evidence that man begun to domesticate animals such as cows, dogs and sheep, use copper and bronze weapons, wear bangles, rings, necklaces of beads and ear rings and have burial chambers. To the end of the Neolithic era, during the Megalithic Age, people in Karnataka began to use long swords, sickles, axes, hammers, spikes, chisels and arrows, all made of iron. Scholarly hypothesis postulates contacts between the Indus Valley 3300 BCE to 1300 BCE cities of Harappa and Lothal, citing the discovery of gold found in the Harappan sites that was imported from mines in Karnataka, evidence of Neolithic habitation of areas in modern Karnataka and Celts dating back to the 2nd century BCE were first discovered in 1872. There are reports that a polished stone axe was discovered at Lingshugar in the Raichur district, however the authenticity of these reports remains unverifiable. Megalithic structures and burial grounds were discovered in 1862 in the regions of Kodagu and Mori Beda Hills, while Neolithic sites were discovered in North Karnataka. Scholarly hypothesis postulates of contacts between the Indus Valley city of Harappa in 3000 BCE, citing the discovery of gold found in the Harappan sites that was imported from mines in Karnataka. <laughs> Early history Karnataka was the part of the Maurya Empire. The first Mauryan emperor Chandragupta Maurya died in Shravanbelgola in Hassan district around 298 BCE, where he spent last days of his life as Jain ascetic. Around 230 BCE, the Satavahana dynasty came to power and its rule lasted nearly four centuries, until the early 3rd century CE. The disintegration of the Satavahana dynasty led to the ascent of the earliest native kingdoms, the Kadamba dynasty of Banavasi in modern Uttara Kannada district with Myrasharma, a Brahmin native of Talagunda in modern Shivamaga district as the founding king, and the western Ganga dynasty in southern Karnataka, marking the birth of the region as an independent political entity. These were the first kingdoms to give administrative status to Kannada language as evidenced by the Halmidi inscription of 450, attributed to King Kakasthavarma of the Kadamba dynasty. Also, recent discovery of a 5th century copper coin in Banavasi, ancient capital of the Kadambas, with Kannada script inscription on it, further proves the usage of Kannada at an official level. <laughs> Medieval history. They were followed by large imperial empires, the Badami Chalukyas, Rashtrakuta dynasty and Western Chalukya Empire, who had their regal capitals in modern Karnataka region and patronized Kannada language and literature. Parts of Karnataka were conquered by the Chola Empire in the 11th century. Natives of the Malnad Karnataka, the Hoysalas established the Hoysala Empire at the turn of the first millennium. Art and architecture flourished in the region during this time resulting in distinctive Kannada literary meters and the construction of temples and sculptures adhering to the Vesara style of architecture. The expansion of the Hoysala Empire brought large parts of modern Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu under their rule. In the early 14th century, the Vijayanagara Empire with its capital at Hosapatana later to be called Vijayanagara rose to successfully challenge the Muslim invasions into the south. 
This empire was established by Harihara I and Bukka Raya who many historians claim were commanders of the last Hoysala king Vera Balala III and the empire prospered for over two centuries. The Bahmani sultans of Bidar were the main competitors to the Vijayanagara Empire for hegemony over the Deccan and after their fall, the Bijapur Sultanate took their place in the dynastic struggle for control of the southern India. After the defeat and disintegration of the Vijayanagara Empire in battle at Talakota in 1565 to a confederacy of sultanates, the Bijapur Sultanate rose as the main power in the Deccan before their defeat to the Mughal Empire in late 17th century. Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb gave the order to besiege Bijapur and after a 15-month-long siege, the Mughal army emerged victorious and the Adil Shahi dynasty came to an end. The Bahmani and Bijapur rulers encouraged Urdu and Persian literature and Indo-Islamic architecture, the Gol Gumbaz being one of the high points of this contribution. Parts of Karnataka were conquered by Marathas, earlier under Chhatrapati Shivaji and later on after the War of 27 Years. Modern history The Wodyars of Mysore, former vassals of the Vijayanagara Empire, leased the state from the Mughal king Aurangzeb in the 17th century. With the death of Krishnaraja Wodyar II, Haider Ali, the commander-in-chief of the Mysore army, assumed control over the region, until the rule of the kingdom was passed to Tipu Sultan, after Haider Ali's death. In attempting to contain European expansion in South India, Tipu Sultan, known as the Tiger of Mysore fought four significant Anglo-Mysore wars, the last of which resulted in his death and the incorporation of Mysore into the British Raj. <laughs> <laughs> Unification of Karnataka After Indian independence, the Wodyar Maharaja acceded to India. In 1950, Mysore became an Indian state, and the former Maharaja became its Rajpramukh, or governor, until 1975. The Ekakarana movement which started in the later half of the 20th century, culminated in the state's Reorganisation Act of 1956 which provided for parts of Korg, Madras, Hyderabad, and Bombay states to be incorporated into the state of Mysore. Mysore state was renamed Karnataka in 1973. The state of Mysore was formed on November 1, 1956 and since then November 1 of every year is celebrated as Kannada Rayatsava, Karnataka Rayatsava. Timeline Notes <inaudible> 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 <inaudible>